we always heard some complaint from the patient regarding the lower number of eggs retrieved in each cycle. Today, I'm going to answer this question. I'm Dr. Zi Tao Liu from New Hope Fertility Center. And so I'm going to answer this question from two points. The number one, the number of eggs retrieved is determined by the ovarian reserve. The second, this number is also determined by the protocol. So let's start from the ovarian reserve. Ovarian reserve means how many follicles are left in the ovary. It can be evaluated by two methods, including the follicle count between day two and day four in the follicle, uh, in the cycle, or by AMH at any date of the cycle. Both of these approach have equal power to predict the ovarian reserve. And if a patient have a higher ovarian reserve, that means each cycle we have a higher number of follicles to start from. As a result, we can get more eggs in each cycle. And if the patient have a lower ovarian reserve, that means we only can get a lower number of follicles or eggs in each cycle. For example, if a patient in the beginning of the cycle, she start from about 10 angio follicles. That means in one cycle, at the most, we can get 10 eggs. However, we have realized not every follicle can grow bigger when we start the a cycle, when we start the medication. And the percentage of follicle to grow is also determined by the age. And when a patient is 35 years old, her own reserves are higher, and in average, she has uh, about 15 follicles to start from. When you start the cycle, almost uh, 80 to 90% of the follicle can grow bigger. But if a patient starts from 40 year old, in average, she only have about, about 10 to 11 follicles to start from. After the medication, only about 60% of the follicle can grow bigger. So from here, we can see the age gave a big difference in determining the ovarian reserve. And for some patients, if they have some special medical condition, for example, if they have the endometriosis or endometrioma in the ovary, or if I have previous surgery in their ovary, or if they have the chemo or radiotherapy before, or some patients, they may even have some special gene mutation as a result their ovarian reserve is lower than the average of her peers. So from here we can see that ovarian reserve is very important to determine the egg, the egg number retrieved in each cycle. The number two is uh, the number of egg retrieved in each cycle is also determined by the protocol. We are going to review the patient history and uh, including her medical history, previous treatment history, and also uh, her desire for the, uh, for the cycle, we're gonna make a protocol. And for some uh, protocol, we can only get a lower number of eggs. And for some side protocol, we can get a higher number of uh, eggs. And for us, when we make a decision of the protocol, we always try to balance between the quantity of the egg and the quality of the egg. And as a result, and we also can get the different number of eggs. So for some patient, if your egg number is lower than what you expect, we reckon you, we reckon you to speak with us to review your history and review your plan and also review your best interest so that we make a modification. I hope I answered your question here. If you have any further question regarding uh, this topic or any other topic, you're always welcome to call my clinic to schedule, an, uh, uh, schedule a, a connotation. Thank you very much. You have a good one. Okay, bye.